hi hi felting fans it's jules again and today i've made a toy fox terrier who is ready for some ears i decided to start this youtube channel because i am fairly new to needle felting and i wanted to share my experiences with you and learn things along the way so i'm very open to feedback and comments if you see something that i'm doing that you know a better way please let me know i'm always open to learning because i really want to do better so this little fox terrier is ready for its ears and I'm gonna do that with you today. I figured we'd make the ears together. So I have this cool solar bee felting machine and my own flat iron that we're gonna do to make these ears really nice and flat and then um, put them on together. So we'll do that right now. This is the dog I'm making and here are the little ears. So look at the triangle head. And um, I have this gray batting and I have white batting that I've been using to make this dog's fur. So first I'm going to uh, have this white sheet on my felting pad because it's so much easier for me, I feel, to pull up the ears with the felting pad. So I have my wool cleaning tool and I just go like this, pulls up a bunch of wool. Gonna pull off a little chunk of gray, another little chunk of gray. And first and foremost, I try to make two very similar amounts. I feel them, make sure that they feel, you know, the same. I just eyeball it. And there's our dog. I try to get a sense of what the ears will be. This is probably too big. I try, I tend to make them a little bigger because I find it's easier to felt them down. Obviously, you can't felt them up very easily. So Okay, so we're gonna start with this, and first I just poke it into shape. Poke it into a triangle, and try to make two matching triangle shapes. So here we have two roughly the same ears, and I'm gonna use my Solar B felting machine. We have the on-off switch here, and I tend to, I tend to put it kind of in the middle there. You know, it's around 16.3. Switch it on. Oh, you know what, very important. For this, I always wear these leather needle protectors. You don't need to do it very hard. It's kind of felt like this. Then, because I have this sheet on, it's easy to pull it up like this. And then I'm gonna do the back. Tap them in first, get them kind of in there. And I'm gonna felt them down. So the other thing is, this dog has white on the front of the ear. See, the back is black, but the front is white. So I gotta figure out now how to put the white on without it felting through to the back. So I'm gonna try that here. Tack that on. Maybe for that, I won't use the felting machine. I don't want it. See how it pokes through, kind of? I don't want that. Might have to add a little extra gray on the back. And I don't mind this being like a little fluffy on the sides because it's the inside of the ears. So inside tends to look like a, you know, a little ow, fur. Let's 
see how this looks if we add like a little more gray. I'm gonna try really lightly. I have a feeling these ears are gonna be huge. So I'm actually being a little sloppy now because I am 99% sure I'm gonna end up having to cut these ears. Let's see now, see how they're really fat? Golly, they're huge, fat. <laughs> I think way too big for this dog. Whoa, oh my goodness. Yeah, I way overdid that. Okay, so this is ridiculous looking, but whatever, we're gonna just, well, you know what? We'll just do it. We're gonna, we're just gonna try. All right, so I'm heating up this flat iron and I'm gonna just anchor the white in a little bit better while it heats up. Ah, in doing that, I have managed to get more white through the gray. So I don't really, now that I think about it though, this dog is pretty uh, elderly and it does have some white showing through the gray. If we look, this is the only picture I have of this dog but if you look, you can kind of see there is some white on the back and white all through here. So it's probably not that big of a deal. Okay, how is this doing? So I'm gonna put these back on so I don't burn myself because I burn myself all the time. You can see how fat they are. You can see how thick they are. So with this, I have it heated the very hottest it will go. And then we're literally just gonna press them in here. I'm pressing really hard. Look at how thin it got, really thin. See the difference? I'm not pulling really hard, I'm just very carefully. I obviously want them to be the same thinness. So these ears are enormous and I probably could make both ears from one of these. So now I have these flat, flat ears. Awesome. They're super flat. And I've made them just, they're enormous. I mean, obviously. <laughs> they probably need to be quarter of this size. So we could even fold this in half and just cut it, couldn't we? Jeez. <laughs> we'll go for it. I'm gonna cut them. But I, now I want them to be exactly the same, right? So. Might as well fold it in half, cut them in half. Okay, we're kind of getting there, right? Now I have totally different edges. Nah. Well, look at that. See that that edge is sharp and clean and that edge kind of lays out, so maybe we'll do that. Hmm. So we'll use this for this edge and that for that edge. Ooh, that could work. I like it. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so there they are on this little head. If you look, it's like, let's try to make the head the same size as this, approximately, then we can kind of get a sense of where it's supposed to be. So if the eyes are there, this big, that seems about right. So that's a lot of excess we need to cut off. So I'm gonna leave a little it a little bit long. I think I even want a little more white up here to match this one. We'll just keep flattening it and flattening. Or maybe the word I should be saying is thin. Thin ears, flat. I think that's pretty good. Now, what do we decide? Like somewhere like halfway, maybe? I'm gonna cut them a little longer than I think I need. Maybe like here. I've broken all my felt alive needles, so now I'm gonna use this wooden um, holder with a regular needle in it. 
I'm just gonna, first I just sort of loosely tack it into place to kind of get a sense of where it should go. And then I'm gonna look at the picture again after putting both ears kind of roughly where I want them. Okay, so I went ahead and found a picture of a toy fox terrier because I don't have any others. And you can see the ears, are, they're too long for now. And they're also real fluffy on the sides, which I don't want. So I wanna try something. I've heard if you take two pieces of wood together, you have this little flat item, you can, you know, felt down edges like this. So let's, I've actually never <laughs> tried this before. Let's try it. What is the idea? You stick it in here. Maybe it's just so you can hold it. I want it right at the edge because I don't want to make them much smaller. I just want them to be smoother. I'm gonna hold this tightly and let's try. Something's happening. Oh yeah. A little bit more. Okay, it's not that simple to get it into place here. And I'm just gonna refine the edges a tiny bit like this. And then the other one, we'll do the same thing. So I always do this, like push it up a little like this. See how the ears like, you know, fold in this way. Like that. So they kind of round in like that guy's round in. He needs more of a head, so we'll add that. And that'll make his ears look shorter too. One day I'll be very good at this and I can eyeball it all in advance and it'll look awesome. See how they're much higher than the eyeballs? I'm gonna go like this, pinch it like this. And because they're so flat, it's easy to do that and then stab it in the back of his head. So it's kind of folded like this. See how it's folded? Okay, now they're tacked on pretty well, I think, and now we can just start making some adjustments. So in looking, the ears look crazy, like they're super long and crazy. Um, but I also think if you look at it, she needs a little more on top. See her head seems real small. See this, how much head space there is here? Like this, this one needs more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more here first before shaping the ears at all. And I'll put more on the back too, just to sort of help tack it in, you know? I like the batting because it just blends in. The ears look like they've just always been there. Okay, so I'm looking at this picture. See how the eyes are here and then the ears start up there? So they need to be higher like this. So but they kind of fold in a little. So what I'm doing is stabbing like this so that they kind of have that little fold in them. Like this. And I'm gonna continue to add more wool at the top so that it has a little more um, I want to push them up like this and stab them in this way. So you see how they have that, like the little ear thing in the back? Ear thing, <laughs> bell shape. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to cut these ears down, aren't we? For sure. Okay. So let's figure this out now, shall we? As far as the ears go, I'm scared to cut them because I know if I cut them and I do it wrong, it's gonna be really hard to fix them. See how pointy they are? But, so here's the space between the head and his ear and then his ear is about the same size, right? So we gotta come down to about there, I think. Okay, so let's try it.
Man, I'm wasting a lot of wool. All right, that's getting better. So I think at this point, I'm gonna do like a little bit of soft felting just to kind of get that hard edge a little softer and um, shape them down a tiny, tiny bit. cute. That was a little bit ridiculous. A lot of wasted wool here. So I have a whole extra ear, I guess. But I really appreciate your going along for the ride with me. And I do like how they turned out. I think they're kind of cute. So um, like I said, always learning. <laughs> and I really appreciate your being here. So thanks for joining. Mm -hmm.